Hello guys. Hi, good evening guys. This is Alejandro Narbona. Welcome to a class here at Inglés Corporativo. Good night, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, sorry. All good? All right. So, um, I see new faces. Veo nuevas caras. So, welcome. My name is Alejandro Narbona, guys. I'm going to be here helping you learn English. Okay? So, I have Mr. Luis Molina. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Luis Molina. Thank you. LGK10 2017. Yeah, nice to meet you. My name is Luis Adonai. Okay, hi, Luis. Nice meeting you. Um, I also have Tatiana, nice to who's connecting her audio. Omar Avelar, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. And I also have Emerson. Hi. Hey, yeah. sir. Okay, good. So this class is pre-intermediate module two. Okay. Yeah. So les quiero dar la más cordial de las bienvenidas, guys. Um, estoy muy feliz que puedan estar acá con nosotros esta noche. Vamos a tocar un poquito de temas. Okay, solo le escribo a Tatiana para avisarle que desconecte los audífonos. Okay, very good. All right, very good. So, un par de cositas, guys. Lo que espero de ustedes es que traten de conectarse todos los días. Okay? Um, les agradezco que en esta situación difícil que estemos... Hey, Johnny, I see you there. Um, que en esta situación que estamos difícil, pues ustedes siempre estén tratando de intentarlo. Okay? Par de reglas de la clase. Número uno, siempre trabajen en su plataforma. Esa plataforma tiene que ser su mejor amigo. Ahí es donde ustedes van a ir viendo su progreso. Ahí es donde van a saber qué es lo que necesitan y así me pueden contactar. No puedo hacer tal ejercicio y pues con gusto les ayudo. ¿Ok? Y también es un requerimiento para poder ser matriculado o inscrito en el siguiente módulo. ¿All right? Now, Como les mencionaba, lo que espero de ustedes es lo siguiente. Mis reglas son muy sencillas. Muy sencillas. Try. Tienen que intentarlo. Simple. Number two, respect. Okay, todos estamos aquí por, por la misma razón, aunque tengamos diferentes motivaciones. And number three, don't be sorry. Okay, no tienen que disculparse si cometen un error. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta por el momento? No, yes, no. No, teacher. All oh, right. No, I, I don't have a question. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, as far as how it goes, I generally log in at 8.02, 8.03, giving time to people to start the class. Siempre me conecto a las 8 y 2, 8 y 3 para tener que la gente se pueda conectar. Okay. En cuanto a la convivencia, eh, si pueden tener la cámara, pues mucho que mejor, porque así... Yo les voy viendo las caras, los voy conociendo también, puedo ver cómo pronuncian, etc. Eh, solo con que no estén desnudos, pues para mí es suficiente. All right? Y si no, pues se les respeta su, su privacidad, su intimidad, pero preferiría que la tuvieran encendida. Segundo, con el, el, el sonido ambiente. ¿Ok? Con el sonido ambiente. Ay, Tatiana. Ay. Good, good. La vi batallando ahí con, con los audios. All right. Now, con el sonido ambiente, guys, por favor, traten de mantener un poquito de, de cuidado. Ok. Si el niño está corriendo, no es tampoco que le vayan a pegar, pero sí también tenemos que tratar de reducirlo lo más posible. Si hay demasiado ruido alrededor, pues pongámosle mute. Ok. Y si no, pues siempre tratemos de estar participando. All right. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta por el momento? No. No. Thank you. No. All right. Thank Very you. Very good. So let's get it ready then. Today we're going to be working with the first 
section. Okay. Vamos a trabajar con la primera sección. Any type of question, please let me know. Um, ¿Alguna pregunta? Perdón, antes que continuemos. ¿Alguien es nuevo aquí con Zoom, con la plataforma? ¿No? ¿Todos bien? ¿Todos no, sabemos obviamente. cómo ponerle mute, cómo quitar y poner video? Sí. Yes. 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 All right, very good. So, let's go ahead and start with the first one then. And it's going to be the following. Here it is. All right. Now, even though you're at home, I need you to repeat after me. Okay? Siempre necesito que repitan después de mí. Okay. All right. Internet is acting up a little bit. How do you say el sistema está un poco lento? Anybody? Hector? All right. So the system is a little bit slow. Please go ahead and repeat after me. Lesson objective. Okay. Lesson objective. Good, good. Sea bien o mal, necesito que repitamos para destrabar la lengua. In this okay. lesson. In this lesson. In this lesson. In this lesson. Participants will listen to a conversation. Participants, participants will listen to a conversation, conversation about, about how, how often they do an activity. They do an activity. Very good. Ahora lo voy a, a leer todo para que ustedes se pongan atención a las pausas, ¿verdad? La, las conexiones, etc. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Repeat, please. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. They do an activity. Very good. So, en esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación sobre la frecuencia en que ellos realizan una actividad. Okay. Now, con often, podemos decirlo often or often. And they are both correct. So, everybody, please mute your mics, your microphones, because we're going to listen to the video, to watch the video. Can you hear the volume of the audio? Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Yeah. I, I, I don't hear nothing to Okay. Uh, somebody said that they don't hear. No, no, I, I, I don't. I don't hear. All right, good. What about the rest? Todos los demás I can hear it. I don't. I can't hear it. Okay, good. So you can't. Give me a second then. Let me do it again. Okay. Here we go. Hello, hello. Here we go. Let's try it again. Hello, Tatiana, me escuchas? Sí. No, we're now in section six. Okay. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. 
Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will bring you off to TV. You exercise like Lo más cercano a lo que yo lo hago. So, repeat after me, please. You're really fit, Paul. You're really, You're really fit, fit, Paul. Paul. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early. Well, well I, I almost, almost always get up, get up early. 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 And I lift weight for an hour. And I and lift, I lift weight, weight for an, for an hour. hour. For for an hour. Seriously? 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 Sure. 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 And then I often go inline skating. And, and then, then I, I often go inline skating. Inline skating. Inline skating. Good. Wow. <laughs> how often do you exercise like that? Wow. wow. How, how often, often do you exercise, exercise like, that? like that? Yeah. About, five <laughs> About five times a week. About five times a week. <laughs> what about you? What about, what about you? you? Oh. I hardly ever exercise. Oh, I hardly, I hardly ever exercise. exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Couch potato, very good. Does anybody know what a couch potato is? Pan de papas. Comida chatarra. Something like that. Addiction. 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 Uh -huh. When the person uh, watches TV every day, every time. Uh -huh. That's like right. an lazy person. Uh -huh. Like a very, very, very. Ah, there it is. Like a very lazy person that's only watching TV the whole day. So, guys, are you a couch potato? No, when I, no, no, I on Sunday. No, no, I don't only Sunday. Never. And, no. Never. Okay. And what about now during quarantine? Yeah, only watching. No, I'm not. News. I'm still working. Oh, you still I work. Working? I work yeah. in my home. That's good. <laughs> that's good. You're very lucky if you can work from home. Okay, yeah, totally. very good. So I need two volunteers. I need one to be Mary and I need someone else to be Paul. Who's going to be Mary? I can be Mary. Okay, Sonny is going to be Mary. Thank you. And what about Paul? I am. Me, Luis. Luis, oh. Luis, where are you? Paul. I am. Oh, Luis am Molina. Luis, Luis Molina. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, very good. So go ahead, Sunny, and go ahead, Luis. Go, please. Okay. Um, you really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Good. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in light skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. Well, five times a uh, Sorry to stop you. Okay. Five times a uh, times a week. Ah, a week. Uh -huh. okay. Repeat, please. Five times okay. a week. About five times a week. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what about, about you? you? Good. Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach for potato. Okay, good job, good job, good job. Thank you very much, Sonny and Luis. I like your pronunciation, nice attitude. Like it. Thank you. Okay, thank All you. right, so little by little, I'm gonna have more vistimas, okay? Poco, poco, <laughs> Miles, I'm sorry, volunteers. Very good, so let's, <laughs> very good. Hector, you're next. Everybody, everybody right now, repeat after me. By the end of this session. By the end of this session. session. This session. 
Session. You will learn how to ask and answer questions. You will learn, 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 learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Using, using adverbs, adverbs of frequency. Of frequency. Very good. Now let's pay attention so I read it complete. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Go. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Frequency. Free. Frequency. 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 Good. <coughs> Sorry. Guys, acá no importa que no les salga bien. Lo que quiero es que vayamos soltando la lengua, ¿ok? Siempre que tengamos la oportunidad de hablar, démosle. No salga como no salga, como que somos bebés. Okay. Right? okay. I need a volunteer to read this, please. Hi. Uh, I guess, who said that? Luis? Hector. Um, I am Luis. Ok. Uh, Hector. LG. Go ahead, Hector. Ok, here we go. There you By go. the end of the session, you will learn how to ask an adverb question using adverb of frequency. Very good. Nice energy. Good, good. I liked it. Let's go ahead and pronounce everybody. Answer. 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 Go ahead, Hector. Help me with that. Answer. 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 So, al finalizar de esta clase, aprenderán cómo hacer preguntas y responder ocupando adverbios de frecuencia. Okay. All right. Now, what comes to your mind when I ask you adverbs of frequency? ¿Qué se les viene a la mente cuando escuchan adverbs of frequency? Solo uno, por favor. No se montonen. Um, ¿Cuántas veces se hace algo? Every uh -huh. day. Once a week, twice. And there sometimes. you go. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, the frequency of your actions. All right? Action. Good. Hey, Lino, what's up? It's good to see you again. Hello. Good evening. All right. Good evening. So, let's rock it right now. And let's mute our microphones so we can watch the video. And then we're going to practice, okay? Okay. There we go. Okay. okay. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I play soccer. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. Sometimes. No, I never watch TV. I heavily. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. I think you will help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Hardly ever. Subject plus adverb frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay, guys. So this is adverbs of frequency. <clears throat> Here we have. 
Now, go ahead and please repeat after me. How often do you exercise? How often do you, do you, do you exercise? Do you exercise? <laughs> Very good. So here, first of all, we're gonna learn how to use this structure. Okay. All right, there we go. So with this structure, guys, the first thing that we're gonna use is how often do or does the subject and the verb. I'm gonna write that, I'm gonna write it down here in the chat so the structure will be how often plus do or does plus our subject plus our verb check the chat please our verb plus complement okay very good now when do we use do and does do you know yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We talk about in third person. Exactly. When we use does, we're going to talk about third person. And what is third person? Who can tell me that? He, she. He, she, and it. Correct. He, she, and it. Now, a recommendation is for you to learn. Sometimes it's easier to learn the exceptions than everything. Okay? Okay. Good. So, how do you say, using this structure, ¿Qué tan seguido te bañas? <laughs> Every day. How, 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 do you, how often do you take a shower? How often? Every day. Hardly ever. Every day or hardly ever. Very good. Now, um, ¿Qué tan seguido haces? ¿Qué tan seguido preparas? Cocinas. El desayuno. How often do you cook? How often do you make din uh, breakfast? <laughs> uh huh. There you go. How often do you? How often do you cook or do you make? Is the same. We can say make or do, and is this? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Cook or make, and it's the same thing. Es la es lo mismo. Cook or make. Good. Now, I need a couple of questions from you guys using adverbs of frequency. Uh -huh, just one. No se montonen para los ejemplos, solo uno. Ya sea en español o en inglés, it doesn't matter. How often do you watch the news in Good. the weekend? How often do you watch the news? But the news. Ok, good, good, good. Nunca había sido tan fan de alguien en Facebook. Cada rato estamos viendo ahí que pone bien allí. <laughs> ok, good. How often do you watch the news? Any other question? Help me out. Give me two more. Oh, how often do you run in the park? Ok, do you run? Good. How often do you run in the park? Fantastic. How often do you yoga? Do you do yoga? How often do you do yoga good job never i'm fat how, how, i'm sorry how often do you eat a, a i don't know how do you say chatarra comida chatarra anybody couch potato. Couch, potato. No. couch potato is someone who likes to watch tv all day it can be fast food junk ah, okay. food or fast, fast food. food, correct. Fast food. Good. Pero cambiémoslo un poquito. No, no mucho how often do you. ¿Qué pasa si queremos preguntar oh. acerca de él o ella? Digamos, tu tío. ¿Qué tan seguido tu tío come comida chatarra? How often does your uncle? How often does your uncle? Does he? Ajá. Does. Aquí puede ser. Ah, ok. Ajá. Okay, how often how does that? your how uncle your uncle eat, eat your fast food? Uncle. Junk okay. food. Now, as you can see on the chat, how often does your uncle eat junk food is the same as saying how often does he? Mm -hmm. Acordémosle que el he lo podemos cambiar por el, por el 
nombre de quien estamos hablando. Puede ser dos he, dos Luis. Dos she, dos Sunny. All right, very good. Blanca, desconecte los audífonos. Ah, oh, no, si no me escucha. Ah, permítame, le voy a contestar. Permítame. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and continue with this. Repeat after me, please. I lift weights every day. I lift weights every, weight every day. Yo levanto pesas todos los días. I lift weights every day. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, how do you say to todas las semanas? I lift weights every week. Every week. Uh huh. Good. So here we're going to start playing with the vocabulary, guys. Every week. Every week. Every day. Cada mes. Every day. Month. Every, day. Every, every month. month. Every month. Cada año. Every year. Every year. Every year. Every year. Very good. Cada hora. Every, every hour. hour. Good. I check Nayib Bukele's Facebook every hour. Like <laughs> <Good. laughs> every day. No, I don't. I can't. There you go. Good. Next one. I go jogging once a week. Jogging es como que van a correr, yeah, pero así aún no tan, no tan jalado. So, how do you say una vez a la semana? Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Good, exactly. How do you say una vez al mes? Once a month. Once a year. Once a year. Once a year. Very good. Good, good, good. So, one second. We have interference. Don't worry, I'm trying to cut it off. Good. Let's continue. I play soccer twice a month. I play, I play soccer, soccer, soccer twice, twice a, a month. month. Good. So, how do you say nuevamente? Dos veces a la semana? Twice. Twice a week. Twice a week. Very good. Now, um, oh, me faltó every weekend acá para que lo tengan. Todos los fines de semana, every weekend. Every weekend. Good. So, as you can see, you can start in a second. Okay, good. Now, I got it. As we can see, we can be playing with the compliments, guys. How do you say tres veces al año? Three times a year. How do you say diez veces al mes? Ten, Ten times, times a, a month. A month. A month. Okay. Aquí es donde vamos incrementando el vocabulario. Okay? How do you say cinco veces al día? Five times a day. Good. Five times a day. Ahí vamos. Daily o daily, teacher. Depende. Ahí podremos decir daily es a diario. A day is al día. Okay. 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 Very good. Okay. So here you have a lot of time expressions that you can use on your speech. Repeat after me, please. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise, I exercise very, very often. often. I don't exercise much. I don't uh, exercise, exercise much. Exercise much. exercise much. Good. So how do you say, um, yo no como pupusas muy seguido? I don't eat uh, pupusas. Uh, uh, every day. Hardly. Very often. Hardly ever. ever. Good. Hardly ever. Muy seguido. Pongámosle coco a esto. Muy seguido. Puede ser very often or very much. Okay. Give me a second here. Everybody here in the meeting. So, very often or very much. Va acá. How do you say, and generally is negative. Generalmente esta es negativa. Yo no estudio muy seguido. I do study, study very, very often. often. Very good. How do you say, yo no veo televisión muy seguido? I, I don't watch it very often. often. Uh -huh. Very often or very much. Good. Now, Lisette, can you hear me? Uh, 
Yes. Okay, good. How do you say, and you're going to use this one, okay, Lisette? This one that I'm pointing at. How do you say, yo leo un libro, yo leo un libro tres veces al año? Wow. I, I read, read a book, a book three times, times, times a year. Times good, a job, year. good job, good job, good job. Go ahead. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, I see a difference between uh, how often and do you ever the advert of frequency uh -huh. uh, in in this case how often uh, lo colocamos al final pero cuando utilizamos la otra pregunta do you ever están al principio o en medio hmm. Este, ¿En qué casos vamos a utilizar? Sé que todos son adverbios de frecuencia, Ajá. pero veo que el, cuando utilizamos el house, ¿no? los adverbios de frecuencia están al final. Ah, ok. Cuando utilizamos el do you ever, puede estar al principio, en el caso del sometimes, que puede utilizarse al principio de la celebración. Yep. I understand your question now. Okay, good. I understand your question right now. Um, lo que pasa aquí, guys, es que cuando ustedes ocupan how often and do you ever, ustedes pregunta, pueden contestar como quieran. Pueden contestar con la estructura de esta columna, que ya la vamos a ver, o pueden contestar con esta. Ahora, every day, once a week, no son en sí adverbios de frecuencia, okay. sino que son expresiones de tiempo. Okay. Entonces, por eso es que cuando nosotros ocupamos el presente simple, generalmente las expresiones de tiempo en inglés siempre van al final, generalmente. Okay. Entonces, todos los días, una vez a la semana, todo eso iría al final. Y ¿Solamente luego, en el presente simple, teacher? No, generalmente, I will go to your house tomorrow. Ok. Ok. I have gone to the party uh, five times. Casi siempre la expresión okay. de tiempo va al final. Es como el orden. ¿Quién? ¿Qué hace? Y el complemento. En el complemento va el cuándo, el dónde, etc. Okay. ok, gracias. Very good. Lino, did I answer your question? ¿Le contesté la pregunta? Yes, thank you. Ok, very good. So, real quick. Is this clear? Do we have any questions on this? It's clear for me. It's good. Clear. How Let's often? go to the next one. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Repeat after me, please. Do you ever Do watch, you TV, ever TV, watch TV, TV, TV in the evening? Good. So we're going to say, yes, I often watch TV after dinner. Yes, yes. I often I watch, watch, TV watch TV after, after, after dinner. After dinner. After dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. I sometimes, I sometimes watch, TV watch, watch TV before, before, before bed. bed. Before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. Sometimes, Sometimes I watch, I watch TV, TV before, 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 before bed. bed. Good. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and focus on this. That is going to appear right here. How do you say siempre? Always. Always. Nunca. Never. 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 A veces. Sometimes. 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 Good. Sometimes. Casi nunca. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Ajá, hardly okay. ever. Very good. Hardly ever. So, Casi les voy a dar un truquito, guys, para ser súper rápidos. Okay. Vamos a meter el, el adverse of frequency entre el sujeto y el verbo. Okay. okay. Simple. Okay. Simple. ¿Por qué se los pongo así? Why do I put it like this? <coughs> Sorry. Because there are some adverse of frequency that they can go at the beginning or at the end, ¿ok? Algunos adverbs of frequency como sometimes, como usually, pueden ir antes del sujeto o al final de la oración. Entonces, un tip que yo les doy para que ustedes aprendan inglés de una manera más fácil, búsquenle siempre el patrón. ¿okay? Y el patrón es que todos pueden ir en medio, pero no todos pueden ir al principio ni todos al final. Entonces, para no complicarnos, simplemente pongámoslos todos en medio. Okay. ¿Estamos? Okay. ¿En medio okay. de qué? Between what are we going to locate Side it? And verb. So, and yeah. and verb. Subject and verb. Between the subject and the verb. Correct. So, 
This is what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna give you a little bit of vocabulary here. And then I'm gonna ask you to ask yourselves questions. Okay, ya me va a cargar la tortuga. Give me a second, please. Now, I'm going to be showing you an image that you can easily find on the internet. I really like this website, which I would strongly recommend, which is Good Word English. And they have very good material. Okay, I'm going to share this with you right now. Here. So, say with me, please. A hundred percent of the times. Repeat after me, please. A hundred percent of the times. A hundred percent of the times. Always. 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 I always study after class. I always study after class. Do we have subject, adverb, or frequency verb? Tenemos el sandwich, como tiene que ser. Sujeto, adverbio, okay. frecuencia, verbo. Verbo. Yes. yes. There you go. Next one. Usually, 90%. Usually, 90%. 90 percent. I usually walk to work. I usually walk to work. Next one. Normally. 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 Generally. 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 I normally get good marks. I, I normally, normally get good get marks. Seventy percent. Seventy percent. Often. 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 Frequently. Frequently. I often read in bed at night. I often, I often read, read in bed, bed at night. night. Good. So now let's just work with this. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Sometimes. 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 Thirty percent. Percent. Occasionally. Occasionally. Ten percent. Ten percent. Seldom. Seldom. Five percent. Five percent. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Ever. Rarely. Rarely. Zero percent. Zero percent. Never. Never. Very good. So we have two types. We have subject, adverb, or frequency, and main verb. Si vamos a ocupar cualquier verbo, ocupamos esta estructura. Okay. Pero si vamos a ocupar el verbo to be, vamos a ocuparlo como sujeto, el verbo to be, y hasta después ver el adverbio de frecuencia. Okay, so repeat it after me. He's always happy. He's, He's always, always happy. happy. He's He's sometimes angry. He's so He's sometimes angry. 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 He's never hungry. Hambriento. He's, He's never, never hungry. 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 Very good. So this is adverse of frequency with the verb to be. Now do me a favor. Copy this. Or oh, you know what? I'm gonna send it to the WhatsApp group. Se los voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp, guys. Y ahorita vamos a hacer un grupo. We're gonna add. We're gonna make groups. Three okay. participants per group, and I need you to start talking, okay? Use your okay. imagination. Be respectful, though. Don't ask questions that the other person might not want to answer. No anden preguntando chuquedades o intimidades, okay? So, how often? <laughs> y se empiezan a preguntar entre todos, all right? So, I'm going to share it with you to the group. Accept the invite. Uh, give me just one second. Here is some picture. I'm sorry? Here in Zoom. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, go ahead and accept the invite and start asking each other questions. Les va a salir un botoncito para aceptarlo. Join. Uh -huh. Join, exactly. Join. Okay. All right, Lisette, can you hear me? Me escucha, Lisette?
Lise, can you hear me? Ok, Liz, si me escucha, tiene que apretar un botoncito que dice Join. Ok, para mientras voy a estar revisando los otros grupos. Any question, you can text me directly. Cualquier pregunta me pueden escribir directamente. Kenya, can you hear me? Ok, she accepted already. There we go. Ah, ¿cómo cargamos los? Sí, las que envió a WhatsApp. Oh, ah, permíteme un segundo, quiero ver. Puedo hacer algo por acá. Hello, trying to share it. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, yes teacher. I can hear you. El grupo de share. WhatsApp. En... Ajá. La no lo veo. Let me try to share it with you guys. Que no sé si la voy a mandar solo a ustedes o a todos. Give me a second. Ok. okay. I'm sharing it right now. Ok, ahí sí. Uh -huh. But I don't know if it's okay. going to be just for you or for everybody. So, I'm going to go ahead and ask. Ok. No, Thank you know. you. You know what? It's just with you guys. So it's just with you. Try to try to take a screenshot or keep it there. Take it a picture with your phone. Because yeah, it's just with you. Try to practice. Practice as much as you can. How often do you? The verb. And then you answer with the percentage that you feel that is correct. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move it, okay? Because I need to send it to the next to the rest of the people. Okay. Okay. Now try to practice as much as you can, guys. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. How often do you and you start asking questions? Sin pena. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's do it. Yeah, las tienes, tú las tienes. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estamos? Yeah, guys, let's rock okay. it. How often do you and you start asking questions? Uh, Hector. ¿Tenía las mismas que puso en el grupo? Cualquier pregunta que ustedes quieran. You can use those as an example or you can create your own. Your own questions. So, Hector, how often do you go to Los Planes? Uh, repeat the question, please. Sure. How often do you go to Los Planes? Um, sometimes I go visit to the Los Planes. Uh -huh. Repeat after me, please. I sometimes go to Los Planes. I sometimes go to visit the planets. Mm -hmm. To los planets. No diga visitar. It's not needed. I sometimes go to los planets. I sometimes go place to planets. Mm -hmm. Go Thank. place to planets. Just okay. los planets. I sometimes go to los planets. Se lo voy a poner en el chat. I sometimes go to los planets. Good. Now ask carry about something else. How often do you? Y le pregunta. How often do you go? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see the, the question. No importa, invéntensela. Make it up. How often do you dance? How often do you, do you go to the, the beach? Good, good question. Mm -hmm. I, I sometimes go to beat. There you go. Good job. Now, Kari asked something to Emerson. In the meantime, I'm going to check another group, okay? Continue. Okay.
usándolo. Yes, I always. I always. Always como el 100%, es como que siempre. Siempre, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh, uh, before. Eh, sometime. Now, never. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. You're doing good, girls. Keep on asking questions. Keep it interesting, and get more information. I don't go anymore because I don't know. It's too far. It's too dangerous. I work on weekends. Try to add more information to your answers. Okay. Okay. All right. Continue, guys. <laughs> Um, cuidar un bebé. Depends. Now, now, yes. Mm -hmm. It um, can be, it can be babysit if it's somewhere, somebody else's baby. Si es la bendición de alguien más, it's babysit. Pero si son de ustedes, it's take care of. Take care. Ah, take care of. So how take often care. do you take care of your baby or your Often. or your kids she tiene bastantes varios hijos oh, only one <laughs> oh, okay to your baby <laughs> okay sería how often do mm -hmm. you take care of your kid of uh -huh. uh, of your of your kid that's right no your baby porque uno tiene lo, lo, que, lo que usted quiera your kid your baby it can be both all right, continue, girls. Let me check another group. You're doing a great job. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Este, ahí puede hacer más oraciones, Niña Blanqui. Sí, eso voy a hacer. Porque como... Ajá, y voy a hacer las prácticas también, pero voy a hacer oraciones con todo, ¿verdad? Yes, este teacher. Tell me. Le estaba explicando a la niña Blanqui que dijo que ha tenido problemas para conectarse. Ah, le he explicado okay. la parte de los, las expresiones de frecuencia uh -huh. que normalmente van al final. Y le expliqué la fórmula del utilizando los adverbios de frecuencia. Y le decía yo que el patrón es que van en medio del sujeto y del verbo en presente. You got it. Exactly. That's the way it is. Thank you very much. You're doing good, Lino. So give yourselves a couple of examples. Ask each other questions. And Lino, teaching is one of the best ways of learning. So if you can explain it, if you can explain it, it means that you're doing great. Thank you very much for helping Blanca. And thank you, Blanca, because I know that you always do your best. Okay. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you, you Lino. Okay. All right, continue. We still have a couple of more minutes. Let me check another group. Okay. Thank you. Este, eh, hey, guys. How's it going? Have you been able Hi, to practice? Teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Show yes, Give me an example. No me digan que ya se les acabaron las preguntas. Ajá. Show me one of your questions. Mm -hmm. How often do you watch TV, uh, Maggie? Mm -hmm. And she says that she never, she never watch, hardly never watch uh -huh. TV. She hardly ever watches TV. Don't watches. forget the third watches. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's watch. Okay. Repeat after me, please. I hardly ever, well, she hardly ever watches TV. She, she hardly ever, ever watches, TV. watches TV. Good, good, good. Omar, ask Lisette something, please. Uh, how often do you clean your room? <laughs> good question. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, I clean I my room. clean my room every day. Good job, using full, full, full sentences. Good. You're doing great. Continue. No se me queden sin vocabulario. No saben okay. cómo se usa una palabra. Google is your best friend right now. All right? Okay. Okay. Good. Thanks. Let me check another group. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye.
Yes, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Hi, teacher. So, how are you doing, guys? Oh, we're fine. I, I, I know you're fine. Show me what you can do. <laughs> Question and answer. Okay. Um, I ask her how often does she go to shopping? Okay. How often does she go shopping? Go shopping. I'm sorry. Yeah. D don't be sorry. It's okay. Uh huh. Ingrid, how often do you go shopping? I go twice a month. Okay, good. I go shopping twice a month. Twice a month. Uh huh. Repeat after me, please. I go shopping twice a month. I go to shopping twice a month. Good. Here we just have to remove the two. We don't need the two. We just say, I go shopping twice a month. No, you have two. Say it again, please. Um, I go shopping mm -hmm. twice a month. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, girls. Thanks. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. All right, so little by little, we're coming back. So guys, do you have any questions so far about the use of adverse of frequency? Yes, teacher, no teacher. Someone in your teacher. No, I have a question. No, teacher. Go ahead, Sunny. Um, I asked her how often does she drink coffee? Uh -huh. And he said, I drink coffee every day. It, it's right, right? Yeah, that's totally okay. right. Mm -hmm. All I right. I have the question. Good, fantastic. So, guys, here I'm going to assign some homework. Okay. Um, la tarea, okay. obviamente, se los quiero dejar claros desde un principio. La tarea no es parte de la plataforma. La tarea es para ustedes. O sea que si la van a hacer. El beneficio de ustedes no la hacen, no les voy a decir nada. Así de simple. Okay? So, homework okay. is, I wanted to ask question, answer. Question, answer. Y necesito que ocupen la imagen de los adverbs of, fre of frequency, la verde, y me den una, una pregunta y una respuesta por cada adverb of frequency. Y pónganlo en su vida personal. Okay? Por ejemplo, Digamos que tenemos esto acá. Se los digo en español para que no haya duda. Siempre. How often do you... How often do you practice English? Y como yo sé que siempre es, I always practice English. Luego me hago una pregunta que yo sé que voy a responder con usually, con normally, con often. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine questions and nine answers. All right, for tomorrow. Okay. Good. So, guys, okay. thank you very much. Remember to complete the platform, do the exercises. I'm going to see you tomorrow at 802. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Get thank out of here, teacher. guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Night, night. Thank you.